Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I'm going to show you how to take a picture of the moon using micro four thirds camera and lens. Let's go! Shh. Before we continue with today's video, this is just a quick reminder for you to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and let's continue with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture of the moon using micro four thirds camera and lens. And in this video, I'm going to feature my old camera, the Panasonic GX8, as well as the Panasonic 100 to 300 millimeter lens that I'm going to use to shoot the moon. So I've already checked the weather and it looks like there's gonna be very little cloud, which means it's a good opportunity for us to start taking a picture of the moon. So now let's head outside, set up our gear and let's take a picture of the moon. So we're outside right now and we're going to take a picture of the moon using my old camera, the Panasonic GX8 and the 100 to 300 millimeter lens, the older version. So as you can already see, I've already set up the camera and the tripod and I've used the lens as well. I've set it to 100mm first so I can easily find the moon because when you zoom it in all the way to 300mm, it's actually very difficult to find the moon. So as you can already see here, the setting is f5.6 and 1 160th of a second shutter speed and ISO of 200. I should also tell you that I'm using digital zoom at a 4x crop factor and I've also used JPEG. We don't really need to use RAW for this kind of image because there's not much dynamic range. Now in order to make sure that I've shot the moon without any vibration that's introduced because of my hand, then I'm using the phone app, the Panasonic image app and I'm controlling the camera using my phone. So first what we're gonna do is I'm going to zoom in all the way to 300 mm millimeter make sure that the position is right and I'm going to take the shot all right so in a matter of few seconds the moon is gonna line up properly with the camera and the lens and we'll have the full moon right in the frame so what we're gonna do is on the phone I'm going to take the shot multiple times to make sure that there's none that's blurred or uh, has any vibration or error so let's do that right now all right I'm gonna take a lot of shots so we have lots of backups just in case something goes wrong all right i'm still taking shots i'm still taking shots making sure that everything works all right i think that should do it we have few shots already and that's it that's all the process that we need to take a moon picture just a sturdy tripod a camera with a very long lens such as the 100 to 300 millimeter lens and also some patience and making sure that the sky is bright there's no cloud there's no atmospheric interference one thing that you should be careful of is that the moon is going to move very fast especially if using a longer telephoto lens the longer the focal length is the faster the moon will move on your frame so make sure that you capture the image as fast as possible and avoid getting blurred image by using remote shutter or using the phone app like what I'm doing right now so now let's get back to the studio and let's edit the photo and make sure that we got the best end result all right so we're back in the studio right now and we're gonna start editing the photos so first we're gonna open Lightroom I already have Lightroom open in this computer right now and I'm going to do some basic adjustment on one of the photos and then after all we're going to copy paste the adjustment that we already did into all of the photos and make sure that they're all synced up in terms of adjustment so let's do it right now first I'd like to get a little bit of shadow going on right here I also like to have a little bit of why to get the contrast going on and just overall make the moon looks a little bit brighter and to make it contrasty i'm gonna reduce the black until it looks contrasty enough like right now i think i'm quite happy i just want to check that it's not gonna clip the black or something like that so yeah this is okay in my opinion i'm gonna increase a little bit of clarity just to get a little bit of pop out of the image and also a little bit of the haze all right now it's starting to look pretty good 
uh, for moon pictures I don't really need to use color so I'm gonna just kill off the saturation like that and that's already pretty good looking right now I think we can just increase the clarity just a little bit and also maybe decrease a little bit of the highlight to make sure that we get some details on the moon surface okay I think this looks good right about there use your feelings make sure that uh, when you're looking at it it looks good for you you don't have to be very theoretical about it so this looks good enough for me I'm not gonna mess around with the uh, uh, curve adjustment I'm gonna go straight into the noise reduction and a little bit of sharpening I'm gonna do just a little bit of sharpening maybe just increase it to about maybe 40 or 30 something like that I'm gonna reduce the radius I'm gonna increase detail just a little bit and make sure that we mask the right places so we don't actually sharpen the noise or something like that so right about here I think is good and for noise reduction I'm gonna apply just a tiny little bit around there and just add a little bit of detail we're gonna make some of the uh, sharpening adjustment later in Photoshop but right now in Lightroom this is what I actually want so let's check everything else I don't want anything else in here and I think that's already pretty good looking so now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the settings that I've already applied to this picture and I'm gonna apply it into all of the other pictures so yeah I'm just gonna do check all for this I don't really care about the other uh, settings we don't really do any adjustment in terms of transformation or vignetting or anything like that so I'm just gonna copy it all I'm gonna select all these pictures and I'm gonna right click and develop settings and paste settings so it should all be applied so now if you look at all the moon pictures that I took from uh, from the uh, photo shoot the adjustment is now being applied to all of the other pictures so they should all look pretty similar and if you can see right here yeah they all look pretty similar yeah it's it's processing right now I'm just gonna check a little bit on the sharpness of the edges of the moon that's where I think it really matters it doesn't really matter if the center isn't as sharp but uh, the edges needs to be sharp because that's how you tell if the picture is properly focused or not all right I think it's all good now and I'm gonna export all of this uh, into a folder and we're gonna do Photoshop adjustment right after this alright so now I've already exported the uh, uh, photos of the moon of the same series and I've already imported them into Photoshop right now and now we're gonna start to do some adjustment in Photoshop to further enhance the noise reduction as well as the sharpening of the overall moon pictures and we're gonna merge all of these uh, smaller pictures into one picture together in Photoshop so now let's start first what we're gonna do is we want to align all the layers together so that uh, when we edit them together later when we stack them they're already aligned and you know it makes the noise reduction thing possible uh, using this uh, layer stacking in Photoshop so first I'm gonna select all the layers and I'm gonna do um, edit and I'm gonna choose auto align layers here and I'm just gonna do auto and Photoshop will take care of the rest alright so we've already aligned all the layers and now I'm pretty sure that they're all aligned pretty well so let's check by turning on and off the individual layers and if they don't really move then I think we already did a good job okay so I've checked and nothing really changes so that's good yeah okay yeah so next what we want to do is we want to turn them into smart objects so uh, let's just uh, select them all again and we're gonna turn them into smart objects so uh, click on layer and convert to smart objects alright so it's already turned into smart objects so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, do some noise reduction using layer stacking in Photoshop so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open layer again and we're gonna choose 
smart object and we're gonna stack mode we're gonna choose stack mode and there are a few options what we're gonna choose is median you know you can try all the other options for the stack mode but i think median works the best for what we're doing right here because by choosing median we're gonna preserve the details and we're gonna make sure that the noise reduction is optimum so let's do that right now median and it's gonna take a while wait until photoshop is finished processing all these uh, tasks that we're doing right now all right so now photoshop is already finished uh, processing the stacking the median stacking so now the noise reduction is already applied on all of the layers and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten the image and turn it into a single picture and then we're gonna do further adjustment in photoshop to enhance the overall look of the moon so let's do that right now first what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and flatten the overall image and let's do that right now and it's gonna take a while but it's quite fast actually so now it's already turned into a rasterized kind of a jpeg image and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna turn it into smart object so that when we do editing we can actually go back to the edit so it's almost like using lightroom again so all right it's already turned into smart object so what we're gonna do right now is i'm gonna uh, do a simple adjustment using camera raw filter and uh so it's almost like editing in light room again all right so we already have the camera raw tab open and I'm gonna do a little bit more adjustment so first what I notice is that the uh, overall look of the moon is a little bit too white I think you agree with me it looks almost like a, a you know light bulb or something so let's reduce the highlight a little bit and make sure the color is all right we're gonna increase just a little bit of the shadow I'm gonna kill a little bit of the white maybe does that make any sense yeah uh, killing the white a little bit reducing it to around this and I'm gonna further reduce the black just a little bit to make sure that it's uh, punchy and contrasty all right it's looking good right now i'm gonna further increase the clarity just a little bit i don't want to overdo it so, because when you put too much clarity it starts to look pretty fake you know and i'm also gonna do a little bit of dehazing right here i'm just gonna try to see what effects that it does i don't really think i'm gonna do a lot of dehaze so i'm just gonna leave it right there i'm gonna mess around with the exposure one more time and all right i'm gonna increase the exposure and i'm gonna reduce the highlight and the white and see what it kind of does yeah i think around here it looks good but i'm not quite sure let's play around with the exposure a little bit more and no this doesn't look good all right you know what let's forget about that and we're just gonna stick with what we did earlier okay all right i'm just gonna kill the white entirely i'm gonna play around with the shadow until i think it feels right it looks right to me around here but it just lacks a little bit of that sprinkle uh, you know kind of shiny kind of look to it which is what's on my mind so yeah when you're doing this kind of things you do things that you feel right not what's theoretically right because i like this kind of look of the moon then i'm going to go with it you know and yeah i think it's already good i'm gonna do a little bit of uh, adjustment to make sure that everything looks good and yeah i think it's already good now so i'm gonna click on ok all right it's slightly darker i think uh now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna kind of crop it a little bit i'm gonna make it uh one by one aspect ratio because maybe i want to put it on instagram or something like that so let's do that one by one i'm gonna make sure that it's centered and you know kind of like this all right maybe slightly tighter you know all right so let's check a little bit uh, by zooming in by punching in and see if there's anything that we can improve all right so sharpness is definitely still lacking but we can uh, kind of do uh, sharpening in photoshop using a special uh, high pass filter kind of technique so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this layer and let's click on duplicate layer let's just name it sharpening or 
something like that oh, okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on filter and we're gonna click on other and choose high pass all right so what what it does is actually it turns it into this mess of gray thing i don't know what you call it and if you increase uh, the radius it's gonna start showing you know a little bit of uh, the outline you know kind of the micro contrast uh, areas of the moon i'm gonna choose around three pixel the way you choose this is choose the number where it starts to slowly shows the outline of the overall image but not too much because when you put it too much it's gonna start to look fake okay so i'm quite happy around here maybe three and a half ish kind of and pixels i think that's where uh, i aim for the high pass filter so let's just click ok right now and uh, what we're gonna do right now is to blend these layers together so i'm gonna choose uh, the blending tab right here and i'm gonna choose maybe uh, overlay maybe i'm not quite sure let's let, let's try overlay and see what it does all right so i can already kind of see that it's sharpened right now without the sharpening it looks like this as you can see on the screen it, on the screen if you do the sharpening then the edges starts to look sharper if you take away the sharpening it starts to get uh, pretty soft so yeah i kind of i kind of like this and i think that it's already starting to look good so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna click save and we're gonna come back to lightroom to do the final touch adjustment on lightroom so yeah we're back in lightroom right now and i'm gonna do some final touch on this image to make sure that uh, the moon looks as good as possible i'm gonna add just a little bit of texture to make sure that we can extract as much detail as possible from this image let's see what it does okay yeah it kind of helps all right kind of helps but it kind of looks fake right now so i'm gonna dial it back to about you know 30 or something yeah right around here that's a good number all right and now we're gonna fix a little bit of the exposure more and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reduce the highlight i'm gonna reduce a little bit of the white increase a little bit of the black something like that and i'm gonna increase the exposure all right so i think it's working i'm gonna add contrast i'm gonna add contrast and see what it does all right kind of enhance the overall uh, difference between dark and bright colors i kind of like that so let's leave it right there i'm gonna play around with the curves and see what it does experimentation i think it's quite important oh no yeah let's dial back the uh, bright part of the image a little bit and i'm gonna increase the shadow just a little bit and i'm gonna decrease the black just a little bit you know maybe not that much let's try it again All right i think i'm kind of happy around there let's play around a little bit with the curves and see what we can find all right i noticed if i put it right here the middle slider i think it's gonna make the image look more natural the moon looks more proper if you understand what i mean all right all right i think i'm quite happy with that all right and so let's check on the sharpness whatsoever uh, yeah i think it already looks good i think it already looks good yeah so this is the final image and we're gonna export it now and yeah we're done with the whole editing And so that is the final image of the moon that was being shot with my 5 years old Panasonic GX8 with the 100 to 300 millimeter lens and I think I'm quite happy with the result and as you can see the whole setup is just this big it's not really that big it's just like you know kind of portable you don't really have to use like big bag and it's not too heavy as well so yeah I'm quite happy with the result and the lens the 100 to 300 millimeter lens is actually quite 
quite good I'm quite happy with its performance it's sharp enough it's pretty contrasty I don't really find too much flaw with it except for maybe the uh, optical image stabilization which is why I use the smartphone app uh, of the Panasonic image app to uh, take the picture of the moon so that I can uh, you know kind of reduce the chance of the camera getting some vibration which makes the image looks blurred and yeah other than that I'm quite happy with the result a little tip from me if you want to take a moon picture like uh, what I did with this video maybe you can start with a lens like this which is not too pricey and also a camera that's you don't have you don't need the newest camera you just need a camera that you're confident working with and yeah also uh, practice stacking layers in Photoshop to make sure that you can reduce the noise as much as possible and learn how to edit the moon pictures and I think you'll get great result once again I'm quite happy with uh, this setup I've been using the combination of this camera and this lens for many years to take moon pictures and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video so that that is all for today's video i hope you learned something from today's video please comment down below if you have any questions about taking moon pictures also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video by sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below thank you and goodbye